One of the most annoying things about using a page builder in WordPress is when you're in the editing mode and you're dragging things into the page and you're editing the page like you normally would and then things just don't seem to be working as they normally do. You're dragging things into the page and they're not saving them to the location that you put them in or you're editing the content of a heading and then it's just not saving and you go through all these different troubleshooting steps to see what the problem is. You restore from a backup, you go ahead and you deactivate heaps of plugins to try and find a plugin conflict when at the end of the day you come back here after a couple of hours of doing that and you go right click inspect element and then console and then you see there's errors on the page here and this happened to me when I first started using bricks builder and I'm going to show you the easiest way to go out and fix this but before we get into the content of today's video I know yes I have been wearing this jacket in most of the videos with a beanie over the last week or so and it's just my only jacket where I can roll up the sleeves and I have this thing where I can't use a mouse and then have my sleeves catch on the end of my desk here it's just it's just how I work. So so I promise I do change my clothes most of them most of the time. <laughs> so let's have a look at how we go out and we build our pages and reduce our chance of getting these errors in the console. So we obviously have an error on my screen now on my live website and I want to go through what's causing this error and then I'm going to show you how to fix this error. So here in WP Codebox which is the it's a plugin that I go out and add all my PHP code to instead of my functions.php file. This is just a lot easier to organize and find things than a functions.php file. Um, for example, if I want to look at my CTA shortcode, I can just go into here and I have all my code there. If I want to go back to what I was just on, my convert box um, code over here, I can click onto here and I can see it all there. It's just a lot easier to manage and find things versus a functions.php file in your trial thing, which just gets really long over time. But I use this to add all my PHP snippets, JavaScript and CSS files. So we're in here and we're looking at this code here specifically convert box where I load in my JavaScript tracking code that loads convert box on every page of my website. Convert box is the software that I use to add the pop-ups to my website. So basically this is just adding the convert box software into my head so that it can go and launch pop-ups throughout my website. Now when I go ahead and in the header I output this JavaScript code on the front end of my website. If I go back into the builder and I reload this here, you can see that as it loads it starts putting out these errors. And if I right click and go view page source and we're just going to search for convert box. So here's that script there. And we know that's coming from WP code box because if I go back here and I disable that and save and we go back and refresh, this is going to remove itself. So that code is definitely running here. And with it still off, let's go back in to Bricks Builder and I'm just going to refresh the page here just so that we can see that when convert box isn't loading that JavaScript, this, the builder works properly. So it's definitely that convert box code. So as you can see, we have no errors there. So how do I go out and load this convert box code on every page of my website that I need to allow it to run pop-ups and stuff and do its magic without breaking the bricks builder? And that's what this video is about. So I think the easiest way to explain the next bit of this video is to go through the series of steps that I took to try and troubleshoot this and then the eventual fix that you could use in bricks builder for your website. So let's go ahead and set this to run everywhere. And I'm just going to turn this back on and save. Now, something that you might think of doing is doing something like uh, this. Which So if it's not the admin area, then run the JavaScript. So click save. And this would work for some other plugins. But the problem with Bricks Builder, we go back to getting some errors. And if we refresh the source code here, you can see that it is here. So it's still outputting there. And again, if I go back here and disable that, and then we refresh, we can see that that removes itself. So I'm going to go back and turn that on. So what can we take away from that? It's that when you're editing a website and building it using Bricks Builder, you're not technically in the admin area, even though you're an admin editing and building your website, you're not in the admin area. So you can't just not load things in the admin area because they will still load in the Bricks editor. So how do we go out and run code throughout our website, except when we're editing our website using Bricks Builder, we can use this function that has that Bricks has built into the plugin, which is Bricks is Builder. So here, now the code is saying, so Bricks is Builder, so that'll be 
a true or a false. So if it's not the bricks builder mode, then output our convert box code. And I'll just fix that up. So now if I go ahead and save that, and then I go back here and I refresh. You can see that the errors are gone now. And if we go to the view source code and we refresh, and if we search for the convert box code, it's not on the page. So to minimize my risk and just keep things as simple as possible, whenever I'm going out and I'm adding things that don't really need to load in the builder, I'm just adding this in there anyway. Even if the builder works without using this, I still add it anyway, because I just can't be bothered to have things break later on in the future. And this is a fail safe to make sure that doesn't happen. And the final code that I'm using for this just for myself is if we're not in the bricks editor and the user isn't an admin, then I'm outputting it. And I'm just doing that because when I'm going out and I'm editing my website and I'm viewing the front end of my website like this, I just don't want to have the pop-ups showing for me for two reasons. One, they just get annoying. I don't need to see them. And then two, when it loads, it affects the stats and I'm constantly reloading things, especially when I'm writing blog posts. I'm reloading them all the time to check formatting. And so I just don't them to load there. And so that's the final code that I'm doing there. If you've got a bit more time and you want to learn something really useful that is available in the new version of Bricks Builder, I definitely recommend watching this video here, Bricks Builder Conditional Logic. It's a new feature that they've just released in the latest version of Bricks Builder, and it allows you to show and hide elements on your page based on conditions. So for example, only showing your sidebar to logged in users. So things like that, all those conditions you can add now in Bricks Builder 1.5. I definitely recommend going watching that video here. Here, and I'm going to leave that video here for you to watch now. So I'll see you guys in that next video.